Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in the permutation and combination, so far we have done lots of problems. Now I am sure that you will be getting some confidence on the topic, right? Now uh, in this session, we will be taking more concepts of permutation and combination. So far we just have discussed arrangement of numbers and letters and human beings, right? Now in this session, I will be taking uh, the circular permutation also, that is the circular arrangement also and some difficult problems based on permutation and combination, right? Uh, friends, actually the topic is very vast, right? There is no end to the problems based on permutation and combination, right? But the thing is, over here, we just have to clear the concept because doesn't matter how many problems are you doing, right? Every time you will be get a new concept, new problem, right? So it's great for you. To just gain the confidence on the concepts right and uh, as i have already told you just we have using uh, we are using a single formula that is ncr apart from that no other formula we are going to use to understand the topic right okay we just have to apply the mathematic common sense right so let's take problems for this session So friends, in the beginning of the session, I would like to discuss circular arrangement or circular permutation, right? So we'll be clear with all the concepts involved in permutation and combination, then we'll be solving the problems. Uh, okay, so see as in a line, we discussed that R person or N person can be arranged in N factorial ways, right? In a straight line, I just write over here in a straight line n persons can be arranged in n factorial ways right now but the case is different while we talk about a circle now why it is different let's try to understand that right suppose i have three person say a b and c right so if we have to make the linear arrangement of these three persons so there will be three factorial ways or six ways now what are these ways it's a b c a c b right b a c b c a c a b and c b a right so all these six arrangements are different from each other right but if we have to arrange these three people around a circle then what would happen so this is one arrangement a b and c right and the second arrangement would be what i just draw the other circle so this is one arrangement the other arrangement will be a b and c right now there is no other possibility of arrangement right in this case uh, b is on the right hand uh, left hand side of a and c is on the right hand side and in this case a uh, C is on the left hand side of A and B is on the right hand side of A, right? There is no other arrangement. If we just try to uh, make other arrangement, just see what happens. Now suppose I make uh, other arrangement here B and here A and here C, right? Now it looks like to be a different arrangement, but it is actually not. Here just see. Who, who is at the left side of B that is uh, who is at the right side uh, left side of A that is B right so B on the left side here in this case also uh, I'm sorry in this case B is on the left side of A so this arrangement and this arrangement both of them are same it looks to be different but actually they are same right because in the circle left and right that is clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements to be seen right so while we are arranging the people around a circle the arrangements are not n factorial but these are n minus 1 factorial right so if we are having three people and we have to make the arrangement of three people around the circle so the answer would be 3 minus 1 factorial that is 2 factorial right in that, uh, in that case, uh, how this formula is derived, I just explained. See, the position of one person is fixed. Suppose we fix up the position of one person. And the remaining persons are arranged related to or the relatively to this particular position. Okay, so uh, position of A is fixed. Now, B and C, two persons are there. So, two persons can be arranged in two factorial manner, right? Similarly, if there are four persons around a circle, maybe A, B, 
C and D, right? We just fix up the position of one person, any one person, right? No selections to be made, just one person has to be fixed. Now the remaining three persons can be arranged in three factorial as we are arranging in the linear arrangement, right? So if we are arranging the uh, n people on a line, then n factorial arrangements will be there. But if we are arranging the people around a circle, then n minus one factorial will be there, right? One more concept is there over here. I just uh, wait a moment. What's that is? Uh, suppose further we have three persons. I make the two arrangements A, B, C and A, B, C. Right? These two arrangements are different. Right? Uh, because in this arrangement C is on the left side of A. In this uh, C is on the right side of A. Right? So we got the three things. First of all, I just make a recap. Linear arrangement is n minus one factorial. Uh, n factorial. Circular arrangement is n minus one factorial. Now there is a condition with this arrangement, right? So if we are considering the anti-clockwise and clockwise uh, arrangement to be different, then only n minus one factorial will be uh, arrangement. Total number of arrangements, right? See in this case and in this case, who are the neighbors of A, B, and C? In this case, B and C. Doesn't matter B is here and C is here. And in this case, B is here and C is here. But neighbors of A are B and C, right? So there are two cases. The first case is when we are not considering the uh, like uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangement. If we are considering both the arrangements, then n minus 1 factorial will be there. That means A can have the neighbors as B and C, but the arrangement of neighbors is different. Right? So n minus 1 factorial arrangements will be there. Now the second case is if we do not want to consider the arrangements of neighbor uh, in a different manner than in all n minus 1 factorial by 2. Right? The total number of arrangements will be n minus 1 factorial by 2. Right? So this is a linear arrangement and this is the arrangement when neighbors may be same. This is the arrangements when neighbors are not same in this arrangement the position of neighbors is changed but the neighbors are same in this uh, arrangement neighbors are even not same right so uh, if this is the case these two are also the same arrangement right because the neighbors of a and a is uh, b and c both as well right now friends uh, Further, if we talk about circular arrangement, there comes a case of arrangement of beads or flowers or maybe uh, we are making a garland of different flowers, something like that, right? All of these are the arrangement in circle, right? But suppose I have a garland, right? Uh, maybe some four or five flowers are there. That is uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five, five flowers are there. I'm arranging them as one, two, three, four, five, right? And on the second, what I am doing is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Now, according to the simple arrangement, circular arrangement theory, these two arrangements are different, right? Because uh, in this case, 2 is on the uh, left hand side of 1 and 5 is on the right hand side and here it is reverse, right? But in case of garlands or beads or maybe pearl string, if we talk about these two arrangements are same. Now, why they are same? Because if you just see you have uh, hold the string in this manner, if you just twist the uh, like uh, string, you'll be getting this arrangement, right? Isn't it? You just have to twist the string, right? So you'll be getting this arrangement. So these two arrangements are not at all different. Right. So if we talk about garlands or strings or pearls, the total number of arrangement will be n minus one factorial by two, which we discussed in the like previous concept when the clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are not considered to be different. Right. Because the person is having the same neighbor in both the cases. OK. So in this case, the person, the one is having the same neighbor. Right. So this arrangement and this arrangement are not different. Getting my point? So, because if you just twist it, uh, you'll be getting this arrangement, right? So, we got the four things now. That is the linear arrangement, then circular arrangement when anti-clockwise and clockwise directions are considered to be different. And this, when the, like, one person is fixed, but the neighbors are uh, not, but like, the thing is, the different arrangement of neighbors is considered to be same. 
and the fourth position fourth uh, concept is this that with the arrangement of garlands or pearls in a string right so now we are ready to take the question challenges so let's take the questions now let's take up a very simple uh, question just to like uh, brush up the concept 20 different flowers can be arranged in a garland right it's a quite simple problem we just have to apply the formula since it's a matter of garland it's n minus 1 factorial by 2 that is 19 factorial right so you don't have to calculate anything the answer will be 19 factorial only 